In this video I will show you how to group rows in Microsoft Excel. As you can see I prepared a little table here with the various months and I have specific entries for each month and now I basically want to group um, the rows by the months and also by the whole quarter. And to do this there are various methods and let's start with the first one. So basically we select the first entry in our table then we go to data, click on the drop down arrow where it says group and then select auto outline. And as you can see, Microsoft Excel will automatically create an outline for this whole table. And the cool thing about this is that you now can collapse these grouped rows. And now, for example, when you collapsed um, all the months, you will only see the total values or the subtotal values of these months. Now I'm just going to revert this since I want to show you another way. So I click on the drop down arrow where it says ungroup and select clear outline. And since this auto outline function sometimes doesn't work correctly, I want to show you how you can do this manually. So the manual way would be that you select your first group, then click on this group button, select rows and click on OK. And you have to do this for the next two group also. And if you now want to create an outer group out of these three months, then simply select the whole group. Again, click on group and OK. And you can see that you will have an outer group. But there is an even easier way how you can do this. And therefore I copied the whole table um, here again. And one thing I want to show you is that this table doesn't even contain the subtotals. So you can see that the August total isn't written in here since, uh, since Microsoft Excel will do all of this automatically. So again, click in the first cell of your table, but now click on the button subtotal. And as you can see, Microsoft Excel will now create a group um, basically for each change in the column where it says month. So whenever the value July changes to August, Excel knows that there should be created another group. And the cool thing is that we can now also use a function like the sum function, which basically means that Microsoft Excel will sum up all the values for July, all the values for August and also September. So these totals that we calculated here manually will be done everything automatically. And in this field here, where, it's, where it says add subtotal to, we simply have to select um, which columns should be calculated. And since only the bought column and the sold column contain numbers, we select these columns here. Then make sure that this summary below data is checked. And now when you click on OK, you can see that Excel automatically calculated the subtotals, but also integrated the groups. And that's it. Now you know how to group rows in Microsoft Excel.